The second part of our presentation is, is a very popular use case. And for this, I'll get out of the slide and into NetSuite and show you a little bit of example of how iCharts works and what it can do. The example we have is year-over-year -year visualizations within NetSuite. Obviously, through a save search or a report, it's extremely easy to view sales this year and then your sales last year for some number. But this can be something that we've found and gotten feedback from many of our customers that it's difficult to show that on a visualization, which is you know one of the most obvious ways to look at data and one of the most friendly ways to distribute that information to many people is through a visual. Um, so I'm going to show you how this can be done in iCharts and uh, give you a little taste of what it can look like to take something like that even further. So here we are in NetSuite. And this is a little bit of taste of what the end result of uh, working in uh, iCharts can be. It's uh, basically to have a list or to have a series of portlets related to your different departments or teams that you can literally put at your fingertips to bring you the most crucial information that you can tell exactly what's going on with your individual teams or departments just right there. These are all live charts, all powered from NetSuite data. And how it works is um, iCharts is built 100% off of safe searches. So all the versatility that goes into safe searches can generally be brought through to the chart. So I'm going to give you an example of what that looks like. I'm just going to pull up a safe search that I've set aside for today. I wasn't anticipating doing this one-handed. All right. So this is a search. This is a general transaction search. How visible is that? Can people see that? Let me make it a little bigger. OK. Great. In this case, I have no criteria open. We've got a you know, demonstration instance. So there's not an, a tremendous, tremendous amount of data. So I'm going to leave that unconstrained for now. And also, I've just prepared just a very basic set of results. Um, in this case, I want to look at my I want to be able to look at my sales from this year compared to last year. So I've got the date, I've got the period, I've got the sales rep, uh, locations, type of transaction, um, the name of the uh, customer. And then I've also prepared a, a couple formulas that will just allow me to group on uh, the date in some slightly different ways that will be useful. And the main thing to keep in mind is that the way iCharts runs off the saved searches is that anything that's a result in the search will be able to be manipulated and put on the chart when in the chart creation studio. And it will automatically honor whatever criteria is placed on the search as well. So it's a fairly basic search. Uh, the most custom thing is these formulas kind of grouping my transaction date uh, by week, month, quarter, year, etc. So from here, when iCharts installs, it installs through a bundle. And the admins will, will get a, uh, a custom center tab that will pop up here, and then they'll be able to distribute that to any of you of their users that would be creating charts. It's only necessary that chart creators actually be able to access this tab here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up, and this will bring us into the iCharts studio. And I'm going to go ahead and reference this save search uh, just from our studio and show you what it looks like to pull up. All right. So this can be accessed through the drop-down menus, or if you're familiar with the ID of your search, you can just plug that in here and press Create Chart. Now what this does is it uh, essentially uses the search as a template and um, does API calls on to fetch the uh, results and um, the results of the safe search, basically all the, the field elements, and make that available in the chart here. So this is our chart creation studio. We've got the uh, what we call the chart canvas on the left and the chart toolbox on the right. And we've got a number of variables here on the toolbox that basically allow us to customize the chart in many different ways. Um, what you may notice is that the items in my variables tab are the same as what was on my saved search results. So there's a lot of formatting that can go into play here, but essentially what the process looks like is this. You hover over an element. The first thing you assign is a label access to the chart. This is the primary way that your chart is going to organize information. 
In this case, I put sales rep on, so I think that would make a little bit more sense to sort that by value. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And actually, I prefer to look at this chart, this type of information, as a column chart. So I'm going to go into chart type and switch that up. All right. Okay, there we go. And so in this case, I've got sales rep, and I've also got my year available as a separate element. So creating a year-over-year -year visualization is as simple as hovering over the year and choosing use as compare. The compare by element uh, can be thought of as the chart is capable of two levels of grouping. Um, the first group is on the sales rep, and then the second grouping could be thought of as the compare by. Um, so you can select the individual elements, either all of them or just the elements that you'd like to show up. And then that makes those elements visible on the chart. So in this case, we're going to zoom in on the data a little bit just so I can see just my heavy hitters. Now I've got very clearly 2014 in blue, 2015 in green. So now I have my year over year sales by sales rep. Another way to think about the compare by is literally a filter, but it makes the elements that are active visible. So a visible filter. So this is essentially the chart creation process. Um, outside of this, I've got my label. Um, you can click on the value element here to choose actually what is composing the bars or columns on the chart. In this case, I've got amount, so dollar amount. And then outside of that, you can also, you know, I've got all these other variables on the chart, which is helpful because I can save this chart and then switch everything up and then save the chart as a different version and create many charts off of this single save search, which cuts way down on just management time for your NetSuite elements. But in this case, I'm going to use a couple of these other elements like uh, transaction type, uh, location, and uh, name as just filters. They're things that are not actually act acting upon the data on the chart but it'll give my viewer the option to manipulate them after I publish it. So after this point, we can pretty much call the, uh, the creation process done. And um, what you would do is then save the chart and then go through a process of publishing it. And what we publish to is uh, custom portlets within NetSuite. And so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to jump to that, to that endpoint and give you a little taste of kind of what that would look like. So I've created a sample of year-over-year -year charts, which is, again, something that's a little bit difficult to do in NetSuite's uh, native visualizations. But with iCharts, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward to make that possible. So I've got a sales by day, year-over-year, -year, with a dynamic filter on the chart for just showing the last 45 days. Um, I've got by week, and then also showing year-over-year -year by month, quarter, as you can see, there's many options to make just different titles and amounts visible. Uh, you get a hover over feedback when you're on the chart as well as an option to view the data that's lying underneath for a specific visual element, um, which gives you that drill through capability, which is also very handy. And then a by rep, year over year was kind of the one that I was working on with you here today. And so as you can see, it's, it's very easy to produce that visualization and it kind of gives you that flexibility of being able to customize and size the chart any way you like, as well as uh, beyond what's visible on the chart, you can assign almost any text element or custom formula that you would make as a filter that you can, you can just interact with independently and your viewers can modify on the fly. You have that standard view, but then they can activate these filters and then just filter the information as needed. Um, so this is the, the kind of the standard year over year, and there, what's great is there's so much flexibility kind of within NetSuite, and the Save Search is really a very versatile tool, but you can really take these, these kind of use cases further even. Uh, this is an example of, of two charts that I was showing year over year information. But one thing that's helpful, especially for subscription companies, is seeing how their totals for like month over month stack up against the previous year. So on these charts, um, this is an example of using some very custom and advanced formulas to, to essentially sew the accumulative numbers um, year over year. So you can see that, you know, uh, when it comes to totaling our, our amounts, our sales amounts, uh, we're doing, you know, much better 2015 than 2014. And I can tell that very clearly because the numbers are totaling month over month. 
So you can get really advanced and go into this stuff, and because it's available on the search, you can also bring it into iCharts.